said we start and then you and then we do <laughs> you've already taken it so just enjoy it no this is ridiculous what kind of portion is this normal portion no this is, this is too big restaurant size says who which restaurant the good ones <laughs> oh, i got pinched i don't want people to <laughs> um I might um, bring back. Remember before in our original videos, I bought, I had the board back, yes, and it would have the topic in it. Yes. <laughs> Should I bring that back? Or you thought it was cringy? It won't cringy, but it took you half a day to do it, so let's not. I'm not sure it's shade. Oh, shade. I, thought, I thought that was shade. I was just waiting. Right. So, hello YouTube. It's the Yuns here. We're having some pudding. I've got some um, sangria, but I thought it would be the perfect opportunity. For us to catch up, we haven't actually sat here. Was this the same sofa that we had in our previous video? No, we had another sofa, didn't we? Because we wasn't pregnant then. This wasn't yeah. the sofa that we had. So we have our whole lives have changed. Yeah, and we've just basically come on the channel. We haven't introduced ourselves. We haven't done like a conversational piece in ages, and done our little chit chat, normal videos in a while. Luca chiming in. Yeah, Luca's somewhere chiming in. He's in his room, but the baby monitor's on, so you'll hear him giving these two pence as well but yeah i thought it'd be good for us to just come in have a sit down chit chat um we'll have him put in this is chocolate pudding chocolate yeah chocolate fudge chocolate fudge cake with some cream a little bit of my hair. and just give a little life update share how we are um and yeah just have a little quick discussion really about the life mm. are you feeling chatty it's a sunday so we're gonna get deep into it oh is it no. oh is it <laughs> Oh yeah, you better unpack, relax and get into it then. Mm? We basically just washed our hair as well. I've cut off a lot of his hair. His hair was nearly at his bum, but he wanted a little job. So now it's back to, I would call it bra strap length on myself, but on you, I don't know what I'd call it. Halfway up your back. <laughs> halfway down my back, you mean? No, as in I've cut off, up, back up to halfway up your back. But yeah, his hair's so thick and long. Um, and yeah, so we cut it. So me, Luca, and you have had regular haircuts at the same time. So and yeah, they're all done by me. So yeah, um, we've just I literally just washed and deep conditioned my hair. Um, just done his as well. Everyone had a face mask as well. The boys had a little face mask. So it was cute. Hair mask. Oh yeah, sorry. Look at me saying face mask. Hair mask. Sorry. Hair mask. It was cute, wasn't it? But Luca, with the, I told you how bad it is with him. Yeah, we're ordering him a hat. A shower. One of those crowns so it doesn't go in his eyes because it is very traumatic washing his hair. This is this is sweet, isn't it? No, it's not. Yeah, it's quite sweet. What's, the, what's the topic, Mum? So, definitely just sweet. Mm. I wanted to do today's topic about. I feel like I'm the chatty one. And I think you people, are the chatty one. I think people misconstrue that you are Mr. Serious, zero chat, just here. By force? Do you think that? Would you say that previously you've had that reputation? Be no, honest, never. be honest. Never. We've had a few comments like that on our YouTube as well. Like, he just looks so miserable. I'm just not a camera person. What does that mean? I'm like Ben Affleck. Always captured angry. <laughs> no. Not Ben like, Affleck. Like fed up. <laughs> yeah. When he actually really is. Yeah. Well, he might no, be You just got resting B face. Mm. You've got quite a serious face. And if people don't know you, or if they're not on like our other social medias, follow our Instagram and our TikTok, they wouldn't know your personality. They would just see the snippets of what we put up, obviously, on YouTube, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they wouldn't know that actually it's finished. Mm -hmm. How you've watched that back in the first bit of the video <laughs> is. Oh, and then you're going to leave it there. I said to you we we're gonna do the video while we're eating and I'm gonna do your hair. You decided to wax it off you, in the you first know what's two minutes. Eat? A chocolate pudding. Well that's like I said, okay, I would be this chocolate pudding queen then. I'm not gonna get a refreshment because I've got questions to ask you. Mm -hmm. Okay? So you've been in chat, yeah? Mm -hmm. Can ask me questions, but let's just dip, let's do a deep dive into mm -hmm. way. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the question I wanted to ask you was especially in the uk there was kind yeah. of like an adverse reaction once covid came. i don't think that was a uk thing i think that was a worldwide thing no 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 as in listen to where the question is going mm -hmm. there was an adverse reaction but i feel like compared to the rest of the world we kind of fed okay oh, the yeah. chinese community over here 
well, you did, but I think that's because you can handle your own. So I was just going to say, like, how did you find it with COVID being Chinese in the UK? And what was the effects you've seen before and after? And was there anything he was watching out for due to our sons obviously resembling you? Was there anything he was nervous about with them? Let me email put it in here. Tell me if you needed me to help you with the question. Oh, what's the question again? So, there was a lot of questions in one. Yeah, it was. So, with COVID, did mm-hmm. you see a difference between how you was treated or any or any instances where you was treated a little bit different before and after COVID? And you was like, yeah, th- this was different. And if so, did that make you more sensitive once we had our like boys and stuff? Because obviously we had Luca, then we had Leighton, obviously two years after. Sorry, that's a bit. Was there mm-hmm. anything that made you susceptible to be like extra sensitive when we was going out with the boys? To be fair, okay, not really. But there were like little things, like even our neighbours on our street where we oh, used to yeah. live. Remember that old man? Like, yeah, like we'll be walking up our street. He knows where we live. We know where he lives. Like we'll walk past each other. Well, we'll walk walking towards each other, mm-hmm. and then he'll cross the road. Like, I wasn't things, with you, but give yeah, the, give the people the the background. This was after COVID. Um. Well, during COVID. Okay, during COVID. During COVID, when like so, twenty twenty. It, it, it was past lockdown. It wasn't lockdown where everyone oh, okay. couldn't like be next to each other, but it was. Luca, go to sleep, please. Yeah, I'm taking pictures. I'm taking pictures. Okay, I love you. Okay, yeah, right. yeah, I can't remember exactly when, but it was. I think okay. it was. It was past lockdown, so it wasn't lockdown, but mm. it was still like COVID times. Um, so I think just oh, just past lockdown. Mm. So people are still like, like, don't come too close to me. A bit tentative. Yeah, yeah, but he literally crossed the road. Mm. I remember you told me that, and you was, I think you was quite upset about that. I wasn't quite upset only, about that. Like, I feel like because like you were in Yeah. I went with anyone, I went with anyone, by myself. Oh, you was by yourself? Yeah, I literally part of the car. Are you sure? Yeah. I thought you I had Luca with you. No, I haven't had Luca. Oh. So, yeah, and he crossed the road, like... Like, he doesn't know us or whatever. Like, and he was still walking like, in the same direction, but across yeah, from the other side. Like, during room. COVID, a lot of people, as soon as you're, like, mm. like from the Far East, yellow skin, like, people used to just, like... Not the Far East, honey. Like, <laughs> automatically, yeah. automatically assume that you have COVID. Yeah. Did you find that you did any explaining? I didn't explain to no one, because I didn't care less, but... Yeah. But, yeah. So, I, I wasn't offended, because I know the type of, let's say, BS... Yeah, that yeah, was yeah. going to happen anyway. So I, 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 I sort of knew what was going to happen, so I weren't really affected. And, and back like 10, 15 years ago, um, you remember SARS? I don't. You don't remember SARS? No, I don't remember it. This is the thing. I only know about it because of you. Yeah, so with SARS, I sort of really knew like, what to expect. But, okay, go into it. What happened with SARS? Was it it's quite been, similar? Yeah, similar thing, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. There was another... What they call it? Yeah, it was another outbreak pandemic, yeah. and it was mainly focused. Was it was it specifically Chinese or was it another it was again, Asian? It was getting um, SARS from Hong Kong, I think. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay. And yeah. um, what was what you found that people over here heard about and knew about and they treated? Yeah, the, world, Chinese the whole world knew about it. It was a, it was, a, it was a sort of like a pandemic. I didn't know that. Yeah, it was, an, it was another pandemic. Okay. So, but I don't think it was as big as this. It worked as worldwide as this. Mm. But it was a pandemic. And but people, is that what essentially led the first and battle that's why, of people to and, have the masks? Yeah, first? that's why everyone had masks already. As soon as they had yeah. any coughs and colds, they already had a mask. Okay. Because they that's because that's what they're used to. Yeah. And what you found that even over here, like your parents were treated a bit thin because of SARS. Did you find when you was growing up? Did you see anything? Not growing really, because it was more towards Asia that was happening. Oh really? There was that like, comments yeah. being said. Yeah. Oh really? So we were. And how? What young was you to, to oh, notice oh, that? Quite young. And you noticed that from being quite young. Yeah. That's quite I, I can't remember when, but yeah, I remember it. Mm. That's quite despicable. Mm. But, yeah. It would be interesting to court, sort of catch up as well with your parents to see. This is why you quickly eat. Because now you're eating your mouth full, trying to feel your mouth full. Sorry. Your chocolate between your teeth. Gone? Checking don't. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, it'd be interesting to see your parents take. Like, obviously, your mum's been in Hong Kong this whole time. Mm-hmm. But like your dad, like how he fared with COVID. Hopefully, he hasn't got any dramatic stories. But I don't think so. 
Or think? he's a bit too thingy. In the air, like something yeah, in his own naive, bubble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I don't think he went out much anyway. Because so <laughs> yeah, he, yeah, he's high risk, isn't it? Because he's yeah, yeah, um, yeah. obviously got his prostate cancer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's high risk, so I doubt he even went out much. Do you want that on the video? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a normal thing, prostate cancer. A lot of men get it. Oh, okay. That's why I've got to make sure I get my check done sooner <laughs> rather than later. Yeah, you do. <laughs> yeah, it's babe. A lot of men get. Yeah, but it's personal. I don't know if you want that on the video. It doesn't matter. It's okay. nothing to be ashamed of. It's relatable content, no, to yeah, be fair. It's, to be it's relatable, it's relatable. Okay, so I'm going to go back now. Mm. Still eating my pudding. How did, what was it like growing up? Because I know what it was like being a black girl growing but up. I say this all the time though. I, I, I don't feel like I can relate to to growing up as a Chinese person in, East, in like East London, London. Okay, wait, let me ask a question, then you can divulge that. Yeah. So what do you, so you said that there wasn't anything other than that neighbour story, there wasn't anything in in your... It wasn't just neighbour, even people across the... Across oh yeah, the and we cussed out a few people, even recently, as in last year, there was that lady that was rude to us in Lidl or whatever, but it was like little things like that, there wasn't anything massively... Or like, why are you not wearing your mask? Oh yeah, those stupid questions, yeah. yeah. But there wasn't anything that like, made why you... Why am I wearing my mask if I'm driving by myself in a car? Oh yeah, t- those are... Still people still doing that, I saw one yeah. this day. <laughs> You're driving myself in your own car. Why are you wearing a mask? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? And then you're gonna have the aircon on as well. It's just like silly. Um, but what I was gonna say is, due to that though, and obviously there was little things. Did any of that make you a little bit not paranoid, but a little bit extra cautious with the boys when you went out? Did it, did any of that change any of your behaviour with the boys? No, not really. No. No. Okay. No, because I feel like everywhere we lived where we've been, it's been diverse enough for me to not need to worry. We yeah. haven't like really lived in a predominantly I'll call racist area. Yeah, we haven't. So that's why I wouldn't know. I won't really bar that old man, our, like, the old street where we used to live was lovely. Yeah. It was so nice. Because one of our neighbours was Chinese as well. Yeah, and auntie, we called her, she was nice. Mm-hmm. And the, auntie Ross. Yeah. Um, but the rest of the road was high by... Yeah, the rest of the road was sent there, we wouldn't mind going to get it. Like me, remember I was bobbling yeah. down, that lady was nice, so. Yeah, listen to the boys. Um, okay, but right, I'm gonna go back to the original question there. Yeah. So what was it like for you growing up, I'm talking about going mm-hmm. back now, it's from primary school, secondary school, college, uni, what did you feel like it was growing up to be Chinese in the UK? So pre, before COVID? Well, I feel like I've been very lucky Okay. growing up because I tell you all the time, me growing up, every school I've been to, it was, they were so mixed and diverse. Mm. Like, we don't condone it, but everyone, there were so many white, black, Asians, like, there was never a point where we was, there was, like, racist, racism. Yeah. Like, you get the same, like, when we're kids, like, they'll be like, oh, Ching Chong, Chang. Yeah. But then, not to say that, we used to make fun of, um, like people's accents. Okay. I'm not going to be specific with it, but yeah, you know yeah, what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, because everyone, because when I went to school, I'll still say there was a lot of like immigrant parents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, my mum, but she couldn't speak fluent English. Yeah, so like, everyone was kind yeah, of so in, the same boat. in the same boat. So yeah. no one really like laughed at each other too tough. We just like. Because you could normal, all kind of relate yeah, to each other. Yeah, yeah, normal yeah, kiss jokes. Yeah, kiss jokes. So nothing was like proper like, oh, you're racist, you're Chinese, what Chinese. Oh, family. so you there's never really had any of that? Did you have any of that in primary school? No. No. So do you feel like, because of the area your parents are obviously from and where you're from, mm-hmm. obviously we called our son Leighton, um, if you didn't know, that's why. So um, That's not really why, Leighton's a nice name as well. Yeah, but there, it, was the, it was the reason of where we, you know, that was the reason why we called mm. him Leighton. But anyway, um, do you feel like, as much as you look back at it now, I, I think they would have their own opinions about the area they moved to, which would have led to you obviously getting married to me and your type mm. and the girls that you would go on today, etc. <laughs> Only I now. But I'm just saying, do you feel like if they had had the insight now looking in, do you think they would have moved one to East London, knowing that you wouldn't get married to a Chinese girl? And two, do you feel like if they did move to that area, they would have still been as happy with the decisions that you've gone on to make? A loaded question. What is a saying in Chinese? Oh yeah, go what on. Was it? Come on, come on, educate me. Go on. It's basically like oh, I can't remember what it was. How was it? Let's get inside. Well, it's like something about hindsight. All right. You could never predict it. So no, I don't think they'll change anything. 
It's not like we're turning out bad. Mm. We've got two beautiful boys. If we moved completely, Cindy would have met Headley. They wouldn't have their two boys. So a lot of things would be different. Do you mm. know what I mean? Yeah. So I wouldn't say, like, if she could have changed, she would have done something better. Because what is better in someone's eyes is not better for someone else. Yeah. Mm. Will we change a thing? No. Mm-mm. Like even now, we think back. Will we change a single thing that happened? No, because it's shaped us. Yeah, and um, we want to have our two boys. I don't feel like. I feel like they would have maybe steered you a different way there. Don't know. That's something I only think about. So. Mm. True. Well, I'm, not, I'm not upset about having turned up. We're living all right. You got put in on a Sunday night. You know what I mean? You got to put in a glass of sangria. I'm not saying that about you, but I'm just saying, yeah, okay. We get to eat out, we get to do stuff with the boys. Yeah, well, I feel like we're very happy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, we're not struggling. Hmm? We've got hot water. <laughs> no, but we, I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't get me wrong, the boys are being so naughty. She went shopping the other day. Uh, no, you said about her shopping. Shop. I got one thing from Zara and one thing from Primark. I hardly call that shopping. To, you got a whole outfit out of me. You got bottoms out and a top. You got HM and Moogle. So did you? You got a jumper? Oh, yeah. No, right. it's your jumper, though. It's because you got a jumper. It's with me. It's, it's, it's for anyway. sure. Anyway. Yeah. My life is good. But I don't know why, why we wound up to that. Yeah. I wouldn't change anything. Mm, okay. I'm finishing up my pudding now. Yeah, so growing up, my school, like me and my school, are very blessed. Okay. I remember what we were saying now. Uh-huh. But the dress. Oh, yes, yeah, sorry. Parenting break. Um, so, yeah, so I was saying all of that to say, like, when would I ever get that opportunity to do that? So I think that as a little girl, who, who would have known? Oof. He's asking for the soy soy. I'll get it for you in a minute, hang on. This is what happens when you don't tell him now. Look at the time. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it was wet, wet, wet. Hello, look, look, look what are you doing in the mouth is yet? Oh. Say hi. Say hi. <laughs> it's wet there. I see you. <laughs> Say cheese. <laughs> Say cheese. I can't see. I can't let that. Right, we'll get you some soy sauce. You might as well use it. Oh, I'm gonna buy this one. Look at you, so cheap. Let's see you. No, 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 no. Yep, wait, wait, wait. Is it recording? Yeah. Why? Think about don't touch it. Mom, you can use that. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Let Mom be with it. All right, you could do the All interview. Right. Okay, hang on, hang on. Come here then. Wow. Say, look, where are you from? Dog Dogs. Say, what's your name? Dog Dogs. What's your name? My name is Look how tired you are, Bubble. Huh? Look how tired you are. Oh, I'm especially my after, hair. especially after Daddy you washed your hair, you're sleepy. Oh. Look, tell them what's your name. I don't know. What's your name? I don't know. Is it Lukey? Yeah. Where are you my from? My name's Lukey. My name's Lukey. Where are you from? Lukey. And how how old are you? Three. Um, yeah, three, mommy. No, say it to the camera. Say I'm Lukey and I'm free. I'm free. Yeah. Look at him, he's delirious. He's so tired. <laughs> where are you from, Luca? Chinese and Layla. No, it's not Chinese and Layla. No, say where you're from. Tell them. Chinese and Layla. Say it properly. <laughs> Go on, tell them properly. Be proud. Say say it properly. My Chinese and Caribbean. Yeah, boom. Oh, Layla. Right, go go and get. Go back to Layla. Exactly. Go in your bed. Okay. Oh, I Careful, it's wet there. Oh. It's fine. Go. No, Into bubble. bed. Come on. <laughs> Mommy, I need to see you. Night, sweetheart. Oh. Love you. God bless. <laughs> Night, Lukey. Oh, are you? Mm-hmm. Oh, you love a pillow, don't you? Mm-hmm. And all our previous videos, you've got a pillow. Um, it's okay. So, is there anything that you feel like growing up has sort of shaped you with regards to like your culture and stuff because i know you touched on it earlier but like you wasn't really proud of um not proud like i was i'm, I'm gonna tell my family, i'm more embarrassed because the food that we eat is very different oh, yeah. and back then it was a bit like 
like scared to show like your friends what they used to what I used to eat. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, because back then, like, it's not like like there's like Wagamamas everywhere, like yeah, Chinese like different Chinese cuisine everywhere. Everyone's mm. eating bows and dumplings and what like that. So it was just like. Um, yeah, and you because, might get a lot more Chinese takeaway. No, the people get Chinese takeaway, and I'll be like, Yeah, I don't eat that, I don't eat that at home. Yeah. I eat like other stuff. Like, before no one knew what's um, <laughs> um, yes, I can garlic, broccoli, that. and beef stir yeah. fry. No one had that. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, no one had that in the takeaway. Like beef satay, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. no one knew everything we had. They just think we had spring rolls and noodles, yeah, char, yeah. char mein and stuff like that. Not char mein. Say it how you would normally say it. Mean, yeah. Yeah, but people, they, like, they weren't as... Yeah, yeah, yeah. As thingy as then. So, yeah, so it just... Yeah. And yeah, now I'm a dad. I just want um, the kids to know that our food is much better than bloody fish and chips. And fish fingers. Nothing and, wrong with fish and chips and burgers. But we don't, we're very or good like cookers. like fish fingers and peas and beans. Yeah, don't get me wrong, Luca's in the peas, so she's obsessed with peas and pasta at the moment. No, Luca loves peas and fried rice. Yeah, and he likes pasta as well. He likes cheesy pasta. Yeah, but we're big cookers. Like, even today, we was like, oh, what can we cook? Because we always cook. I feel like we're always cooking. Mm-hmm. Very rarely do we reheat, well, oven No, food. we've got a lot of leftovers. Yeah, because we make such big meals yeah. as well. I feel like we cook quite a lot, so... Even today, I was a bit like, oh, I can't bother to cook. But thank God, I'd made and we'd made enough yesterday that it was stretched over yeah. for today. But Luca's just at a stage where he's very like things that's he too easy, flavoursome. Yeah, he likes easy meals. Yeah, so he, he loves like, fried rice. He loves his his like bro- broccoli Sunday dinners. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He likes a good Sunday roast, obviously the Caribbean style. Um, he likes noodles, but he's just a bit messy. Yeah, he's still a bit tentative of like feeding himself where Lily's like going for it as well. Yeah. But um yeah. Okay, next question. Mm. Is there anything you would like to I don't know, make the boys aware of when they're growing up as obviously they're half Chinese, so is there anything that you feel like it is your duty to kind of pass on or pass down or just let them know? Uh-huh. The only thing I want them to know is like, obviously now I speak Chinese. Yeah. Um, I don't know much history until I start Googling stuff myself um, when I was older about our culture. Mm. Not about our culture, but like... Traditions yeah, or... Yeah, like, like because, history, yeah. facts and... Yeah, yeah. Because back in the day, my mum used to take us to Hong Kong for like two months every summer. Mm. And when we went to Hong Kong, we were literally just like traveling to see family or eating yeah, or just doing like activities. you wouldn't be hearing about that yeah we didn't hear about museums and stuff yeah and how many people know this the last emperor of china still alive yeah like do you know what i mean yeah 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 but i feel like that's with also sorry not to cut you off mm-hmm. but i feel like that's, that's with a lot of like different cultures that's like you move your parents or your grandparents move to another country and then like teaching yeah but that's not one thing that i'll say because you i wouldn't expect like Hong Kong schools to teach um, Queen Victoria and stuff. No, I know, but that's what I'm saying. I feel like it's family, but then I feel like sometimes family get so used to trying to immerse themselves in the new place of where they're living, sometimes the history and the culture can get lost. Mm. And that's okay because now we've got things like social media and you know the internet and whatever. But I feel like back in the days, it probably was quite hard to move somewhere, a new location, learn a new language, but also keep your identity of your where you're from do you get what i mean so i feel like even i feel like that a little bit even with my own like being caribbean i feel like sometimes it kind of got lost a lot of the way and i had to kind of figure out my own identity and do my own kind of research because my mum wasn't very clued up on a lot of things as well but her mum was just trying to survive with her how many kids over here do you know what i mean her eight kids so and then my dad's side doesn't mess anyway but do you know what i mean so i can kind of see it's been like just survival really of the fist. That's what I meant by that. Sorry, not mean to cut you off. Mm. So there's nothing that you think Well just the two boys know how to communicate with other um how to speak Cantonese. Okay. Um uh, yeah. But then I feel like they need to speak Mandarin as well. Yeah, I think that's a given. And maybe French as well. 
Oh, would you say as well, so if we had got married and we didn't do the Chinese tea ceremony, would you have been all right? I would have been all right with it. Mm, interesting. Why would you have been all right with that? And me not having the red dress, you, know what it's, you it's, not getting... It's, it's because... I don't know much about it, so I don't want to do it half heartedly. Okay. I'm not doing it right. Yeah. Because even when we done it, it was like, oh, I'm not meant to do this, I'm not meant to do that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, but we did it right in the end. Yeah, we did it right, but um, there was like, even certain things, like, you can't get um, some, some the person that pours the tea, whatever. Yeah. That has to be some, another person, can't be as, like, you know, stuff like that. And then you've yeah. got to give her red, every low. Yeah. Like, a lot of things I didn't know. Um, so yeah, so I'd rather do things that I know what I'm doing than not, mm. if you know what I mean. Mm. I feel like it was a main factor, as much as there was rules and stuff, I feel like it was a big, and I, I was really annoyed that we didn't get to do the cheers with all the tables, I was really annoyed, but when we have our 10 year, we'll just re-up and do something else. Mm -hmm. But I feel like it was a big part of our wedding day, because I feel like we got, um, we got, married and we had such an amazing day if you haven't seen it this is a cheap little plug to go and watch our wedding video it's on our channel um but i feel like it was such a poignant part of the day mm. and i don't know whether your parents know but i feel like i was a big yeah for it because i feel like without it it would have been like we was missing something big mm. because i feel like if we didn't do it when would we have done it do you know what i mean because mm -hmm. we haven't been over to hong kong since we've got married all of this time would have passed. We would have had the boys. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's been a bit like we would have missed an opportunity. I felt like we looked amazing. You looked handsome. I looked girl. I was getting it. The dress was nice. The dress was custom made from China. Like who can say that? Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I thought it was a traditional. Um, is it Chiunga Sam? Is that how you say it? Chiunga Sam. Chiunga Sam. No. It's spelled C H E O N G S A M. I feel like that's not what it's called. Do you think it's called that? Chiong San? Chiong San? No. That's how it's spelled. I'll find out for you. Okay, let me know. But however that's said, mm -hmm. that's the way it's spelled. That dress, like the traditional dress, like for me, that was like my princess moment. That was like, that was like all those times for World Book Day when I'd gone over Mulan and everyone was laughing at me. This was my, this was my moment. Do you know what I mean? Um, so, I think, what else, what else can, are you still on it? Yeah, let me move over. Um, what else can I ask you? Um, I don't know. So, would you say that you are a proud Chinese Hong Konger? Yes. Mm, okay. Only because now, what China's doing to Hong Kong, that's very political. Okay. So now I'm extra proud that I'm from Hong Kong. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Anything else you, you want to say to anyone? Even though I'm not suffering like the people from Hong Kong, but yeah. but yeah, I make sure people always say, "Oh, you're from China." No, I'm not from China. I'm from Hong Kong. My mum's from Hong Kong. Yeah, that was one of the first things when we met. Um, you was always like, "You need to specify that." No, I'm not from mainland China. I am. Nothing gets mainland. China. No, but it's it, it's it's a thing because it's like with me. I want to know. People say I'm Caribbean. I'm Jamaican. No, I'm from Saint Lucia, Montserrat. I want you to get it right. I mean, how many times I used to say that to you? Like, no, I'm not Jamaican, I'm St. Lucian and Mont Sebastian. So it is, if you're from somewhere, it's good for people to yeah. be educated to know. Yeah, because some people mistaken me not want to be mainland China because of the human rights and stuff. No, it's nothing because of that. Yeah. It's because, yeah. Hong you're Kong. from Hong Kong yeah. and you're proud to be from Hong yeah. Kong. You're a Hong Konger, you're, you know, your family, yeah. you know, you're raised you, you're proud. We've been over there several times, we love it over there and you're proud. Mm -hmm. So there's nothing wrong with that. So yeah. I just don't like yeah laws being passed down oh yeah of course and obviously things have yeah. changed over time yeah. and yeah obviously um what china doing helping their people um chinese people getting rich yeah good on them but you not being able to speak freely do you know what i mean mm -hmm. it's not very very good everything being controlled is not very good <laughs> Just my nails. No Google, no Facebook, no Twitter, mm. no oh, YouTube, yeah. like stuff like that. Mm. Yeah. No, it's this is the thing though. 
once people get in a discussion with you, they wouldn't realise, oh, he's actually very opinionated, he's very vocal. Trying to stop... Um, oh, no, you're still going. Just, oh. just trying to unrecognise Cantonese as a language. Yeah. That's one thing. I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, That's one thing as well, like... It's been quite a thing. That's probably the main reason why we're adamant that the boys are going to learn it as well because the attitude towards you know Cantonese kind of yeah. being outdated and kind of like an old language. Yeah, because it's quite. Then again, it was like the Hong Kong Cantonese people that brought like even Chinese people to the forefront back yeah. in the day. That was the majority. It was even like the Chinatown, like, it was yeah. the Hong Kongers that came yeah. over. And Hong Kong cinema was what everyone used to watch, like all Asians, Far East Asian used to watch, like mm. Indonesian, Malaysian, Singaporean, all of them watch Hong Kong's um, films, so everyone knew about it. So you know that China's got money, that's why everything's changed now. Yeah. That's it. Anything else? Yeah, free time on. Wow, are you really sad? <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> no, I'm joking, I'm joking. We've got our own little activist here. Not really a little activist because it doesn't directly affect me, but yeah. But if people will ask you, I've got an opinion, which yeah, you're more opinion. than entitled to. Yeah. Um, yeah, you keep me on my toes. I thought, yeah, that's it. Mm-hmm. Oh, you did really well. You was very chatty. I thought. Mm-hmm. What someone still say? You was like, well, you didn't really answer much. You was miserable. <laughs> You did really well. Next, next week we will it's talk. It's about Yasmin. Wow, not my full name, honey. It's about Yasmin. Really? I feel like I'm quite an open book. Yasmin Lee. Growing up with a Chinese surname. <laughs> <laughs> Joking. Um, no, I'm quite an open book. There's nothing really to know about me that I haven't already shared. Mm. No. Mm, I'm sure we'll figure something. Oh, really? Okay. Um, but that's it for today's episode. Stay tuned. Of getting to know the yuns. Getting to know the yuns. I like that. Hello. Okay. I like that. Um, that's it for today's episode of getting to know the yuns. Stay tuned for next week's episode when he will be asking me questions. This should be very interesting. Um, and we will divulge a little bit more about how we find in, finding it as parents, being married. Um, our youngest is 18 months now no, and what is he? He's two in August, so he's now How many months? One and no, uh one years and nine months. So what's that? Nineteen months? No. Twenty. I can't, I can't think of right now. Okay, he's, he's past nineteen eighteen months then. He's one years and nine months, so what's that? Twelve plus nine. Twenty one months. Sorry, he's twenty one months now. Well I think he was eighteen months. No, it's twenty one months. Okay, he's twenty one months now. So it'd be good for us to I think share a bit more of like the parenting side, how we found it, you know, with the mix of both our cultures and raising kids while also still being married. So I kinda want this, you know, our channel to be a little less pretentious because I feel like on our social medias on like Instagram and TikTok it's a bit glossy and we're all dressed, I've got my makeup on. I'm always out. Eating, always out. It's very fast paced. And I would kinda of like to slow it down on our YouTube for people to get to know us. Just our regular days. Yeah, just like, I've got no makeup on, my hair's just been washed, like I'm sitting here just looking how I would normally look at home. Um safe way. So I would like for our channel oh, to Oh no, just... I don't like this one no. Oh, minus your clothes. He doesn't wear any clothes at home. He doesn't wear a top and you've got your boxer shorts on. That's Don't do it. my hair. Yeah, your hair's normally like this, um, or it's out. Um, so yeah, I would like for our channel to be a little bit more of like a chilled jokes, but honestly, like the honesty way of getting to know the yuns, kind of like mm-hmm. less glamorized and a bit more real, if that makes any sense. Mm-hmm. Um, we'll see. I will of course be uploading shorts and what we post on our other social media platforms on the shorts. So if you don't follow us click the subscribe button and check out for our content that I will be posting during and the click week. click on notification. Yeah, also Because that's what other YouTube people do. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, right, I'm sitting with a pro. Clearly, I've under... Clearly, he'll be the host next time and you'll be doing everything and all the talking points because... No. Oh, you're not going to do that. No. You're not going to do for that. But as always, thank you so much. We are the Yuns and we'll see you next time. Bye. Yeah.
Until the phone dies, or the camera, or the light dies. The phone dies. <laughs> this is so silly. I didn't drink the rest of my sangria. Bye! <laughs>